Hey, I just wanted to hop on here before you get any further into today's video lesson. I just wanna let you know, this lesson and any of the lessons in this new series, I'm calling it something like the Beginner Backbeat Series um, or Beginner Backbeat Groove Series or something like that. Every video in this series is specifically tailored to beginner drummers or new-ish drummers or drummers who really don't haven't played much, maybe they've played a little bit, but they've never really studied backbeat grooves. This series is for them. So, or for you, maybe that's you watching. Um, so if you're an advanced or even an intermediate player, this series is probably gonna be um, nothing good for you. I, I mean, not, not nothing good for you, but, but it's probably not what you're looking for. Um, you probably already know all this stuff. So before you, you, if you're advanced or intermediate, begin spending more time watching this video, you know, you may not need to. You probably don't need to. You probably know all this stuff, so you can skip it. Now, if you're a beginner and you're still watching, hey, I am so happy you're here, and I'm really excited for you to jump into the rest of this lesson. Also, before you go any further, I want you to click the link in the description below. Not for me, but for you. Uh, it's a free PDF of the drum charts of each of the grooves that I'm gonna be demonstrating in this video. So it doesn't help me out at all. I could care less. It's for you. You need that in order to actually practice these grooves. This lesson is gonna be, I think, really helpful for you, but the biggest takeaway, even if you don't watch the rest of this lesson, is that you get that PDF, download it to, your phone or your tablet or your computer or print it out and throw it up on your music stand get behind your drum kit and start playing the grooves on that page that's if that's all you take away from today that's what i want for you um it, every lesson in this series is going to have a drum chart pdf in the description below so always grab it um, also, I'm going to include a, uh, a drum, sh drum uh, PDF for how to read drumming notation. So if you're completely new, like if this is the first time you're ever picking up a pair of sticks and you just got a drum kit or something like that, or you made a drum kit out of pots and pans, or you're playing a bunch of pillows, or you're using a practice pad, whatever it may be, um, if you have no idea how to read drum notation, there's a second PDF below for you. Again, neither of those PDFs help me at all. If you click them, it doesn't benefit me, but it does benefit you. And I want to give those two things to you for free. So please click those links before you go any further in this video. All right. Uh, that's enough. I think that's everything. If it's not, hopefully I cover it in the rest of this video. Um, I'm just so excited that you're here. Again, if you're advanced or intermediate and you're still watching this, I, I don't know why, uh, unless you're just enjoying it. Hey, cool, happy you're here. Uh, but but I, this again, this video is, is for you newer drummers out there. All right, cool, let's get started with the lesson. Here we go. There, all right, so today, Excited. We've got uh, bass and sort of snare variations. I, th I, I think it's part part three and four or four and five, something like that. Uh, anyway, this video and the next video, we've got more in the the backbeat groove bass and snare variation part of this series of grooves for beginners. Um, and so hopefully you've got your PDF, you're ready to rock and roll. Um, today it's just it's just more of kind of what we were working on uh, in the previous uh, bass drum and snare drum variations using 16th note fragments and notation. Um, so we, we've moved beyond just playing eighth note and quarter note patterns and, and variations and now we're kind of getting comfortable placing the snare drum in, in various parts of the 16th notes. So, you know, if you think 16th notes, one E and uh, two E and, uh, you know, playing a kick drum on any of those, on an E, on an uh, on a, on a E, uh, on a one and uh, or a, or a E and, or whatever it is, you know, um, these grooves are all like that. Now also, there's gonna be some times where the snare drum is moved uh, maybe to just an eighth note, may maybe it's a two and an and of two, like the double backbeat kind of stuff we've previously talked about on the channel, or, or, or maybe we're actually moving it to a 16th note, so playing a snare not just on two and four, but maybe on the of two, or the, um, 
and of four and the uh of four, you know, getting getting some sixteenth note fragments within the snare too, or maybe like stripping it down to where there's only one note in the snare. Maybe maybe it's on the the uh of three only. You know, that'd be wacky, but but it could sound really really cool. Um, anyway, that's what uh, that's what this video and the next video is about. Um, and so I don't have much else to say. If you have mainly because this is a continuation. Um, if you're brand new, if like you're just coming across this me, the drum shed, my channel, uh, for the first time, and you're like, wow, this, this might be interesting, um, but uh, you'd like to check out some of the previous videos, um, you know, in the in above, you know, maybe it's already happened or maybe it's happening right now, um, there'll be little links to uh, some of the previous videos uh, that kind of lead into this. Uh, you know, and I say that if you're, watching right now, you're most like, likely not an intermediate or an advanced player because at the beginning of this video, I talked about this video being specifically for beginners. So if you're watching and you're a beginner, uh, you may want to check out some of the earlier videos because educationally, uh, if, if, you, if, if you haven't played that much, you know, there's kind of like a, like a stepping stones to learning the instrument and you want to work your way up. You want to build that good solid foundation before moving on to more tricky and advanced stuff. Um, you'll learn the trickier or more advanced stuff in a, in a better way if you learn some of those earlier lessons um, to build your foundation and to build your rhythmic vocabulary in a really comfortable and organic way. All right, I'm about to let the video keep going. You'll see me demonstrate the grooves on your PDF and uh, I'll pop back in before the end of the lesson. All right, enjoy.
so there you go. Um, that was my little demonstration. Hopefully you found it helpful. Uh, hopefully it gave you a, an idea of the sound and the look and the feel of these particular options for bass and snare uh, variations. Um, uh, that, that's it. That's all I got for you. Uh, well, that's not true. That's not true. Uh, metronome, metronome. So as I've always said, if you've been following along with the channel, freestyle each groove first. What do I mean by freestyle? Uh, just don't play with a metronome. Piece it together. Get your get your hi-hat or, or whatever your right hand, whether you're playing on the hi-hat, the ride cymbal, the crash, I encourage you to play each of these grooves with all three of those options. Um, so whatever your right hand is, one of the cymbals, get it locked in with your snare, locked in with the kick pattern. If you can do four to, four to eight measures, uh, loops, of each one of these grooves, then it's time to put that metronome on. Pick a slow tempo and gradually increase your speed by three beats per minute. Um, you know, some people have asked me, well, how do I know when I should increase by three? Um, I would use that same idea that I just mentioned for the freestyle. If you could play like one of these grooves or all of these grooves, four to eight measures in a row comfortably at one tempo, then I would say it's time to, to push it up to three more. You know, so let's say you start at 80 beats per minute, you play four measures of groove number one on your chart, and you're like, wow, that was really easy. Okay, increase it to 83 beats per minute, and then see if you can do it for four measures, or maybe you wanna try eight measures, awesome. You know, so something like that, you know. Um, you, you obviously want, you don't wanna rush through increasing your tempo. It's not about how fast can I play immediately it's about like can i make each groove sound and feel awesome regardless of what tempo i'm playing at because some some of the best songs in the world are slow songs some of the best songs in the world are fast songs some of the best songs in the world are like mid-tempo songs you know as drummers as as musicians we should be able to play at a wide variety of speeds um so yeah don't rush that process be patient with yourself trust the process um, but yeah so if you could play a groove one of these grooves or, or when you could play these grooves with the metronome see if you could do four to eight loops and uh, if, it, if you're locked in if it's feeling good if it's sounding good you know if, if you're if you've got confidence behind each note that you're playing awesome increase by three all right hopefully this video was helpful and uh, if you have any questions as always drop a comment below um, and if you you like this video uh, or if you've enjoyed what some of the other stuff you've seen on the drum shed, I'd be so grateful to you if you you know hit the like button, hit the notification bell on the channel so you stay up to date on all the drum shed stuff we got going on here. Um, and if you've not yet subscribed, uh, I would be so honored if you hit that subscription button. Um, any of that interaction from you helps this channel grow and, and meet new aspiring drummers or or maybe even intermediate and advanced drummers um, it just helps reach more people and uh, yeah I want to get this information to as many uh, aspiring drummers as possible anything to make learning the instrument easier that's what I'm looking to do so um, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you have a very blessed day